The earliest market in Kuala Lumpur was built by Yap Alloy on the east bank where the Gombak and Klang rivers met. Later, Frank Swettenham planned to acquire the market from Yap Alloy for reasons of urban development and sanitary improvements. However, Yap refused and demolished the old market and built what is now known as Old Market Square over it. After Yap's death, the British demolished his market and built a new one nearby. The central market building still stands till this day. All the market square had electricity and was lit by street lamps. Cars were a symbol of high status. Most people travelled by bullock carts. In the early 20th century, Kuala Lumpur had a harmonious plural society of Malays, Chinese, Indians and other races. Ampang Street buildings were mostly double-storey brick houses. Patalin Street boasted three-storey buildings, indicating the thriving development in the late 19th century. A view from Chinwu Hill. The clock tower of Sultan Abdul Samad building can be seen in the background. Pudu Jail was constructed in 1895, designed by the Public Works Department, JKR. The site used to be a brick factory that supplied bricks to build Pataling Street buildings.